Hello and welcome back once again to another as cheap as it gets kind of. We're doing Astra Militarum today. Um, basically the idea of this video series is for me to give you um, 1,000 points, 1,500 pa points, and 2,000 points of models for as cheaply as possible. So what I try and do is I use game workshop prices and then I pretend as if you were shopping at a 15% off discount store. There's a lot of online stores and other things like that that do that. Um, there's that. And then I try and give you as cheap as possible. I don't include eBay because the, I'm just trying to give you the basics and give you an idea of what it would cost if you bought it brand new. Um, so let's get started with 1,000 points. Um, I made this a mechanized list. I know some people like running foot slogger lists, but that would have been way, way, way more expensive, I believe. I didn't compare the two, unfortunately. Maybe I will do that in a later video, but we will see from here. Uh, so basically, um, pretty simple list. The first thing that I'm going to have you buy, um, it's expensive to start but there's not a lot of painting involved for the most part and it's pretty easy and they're most mostly it's vehicles so I'm gonna have you go ahead and buy uh, three Lehman Russes um, if you want to WYSIWYG them go ahead that is your prerogative but I am not going to have you do it for this one I think it's like 10 to 15 dollars for the two different types of, or the Three, three different types of cannons, $15 roughly each for the three different types of cannons that are available for the Lehman Russes. So I'm going to have you buy one that's the tank commander, and he's going to go as an exterminator. There's going to be an executioner as a bodyguard and a vanquisher as well as a bodyguard. Um, the exterminator, which is the tank commander, has the laser gun and... Uh, I want to say this, I think it's the heavy bolters if I remember correctly. And then the executioner is going to have the laser cannon and the multi melta. And the vanquisher is going to have the laser cannon and the bolters. Yes, it's the heavy bolters. Uh, the heavy bolters, obviously, to get rid of infantry and things like that. Um, so I know that some of you disagree with the, uh, the plasma cannon because it has the potential chance to get hot but personally that is my favorite looking tank so deal with it I absolutely love that tank the way it looks I like I don't know there's just something cool and futuristic and awesome that kind of makes that tank stand out against the rest especially if you know you paint the little heat grills blue and make them do a really cool glowing effect on those those really you know get me going so I like that stuff um, so those are your first three that you're going to buy. That's going to be your first squadron. Uh, you're going to have a squadron of veterans that are going to be kind of like your, I don't want to say infiltration veterans. Um, I'll have you running them in something else later. But um, they have the Volkscaster, a Flamer, Crack Grenades, and they have the Forward Sentry Special Rule, or whatever you want to call it, which gives them camo netting, which I'm pretty sure gives them crowd maybe I'm not I don't quite remember off the top of my head I apologize uh, and then we're gonna do two more veteran squads and this is the only part where you guys will have to paint a ton sorry um, they're gonna have the Vox casters these guys are more of like a heavy special weapons teams roughly uh, two of the veterans you're gonna separate off they're gonna have a heavy bolter and then three of the veterans are gonna have uh, two grenade launchers and then one of them is going to have a multi melta uh, they're going to also have crack grenades and they I gave them the demolition special rule which gives everybody like the equivalent of like a satchel charge and then uh, the sergeant gets demolitions so those will be kind of like your getting a little bit closer but not too close definitely going to wipe out infantry if needed they can wipe out vehicles so that's what those guys are for uh, the infantry veteran uh, the infiltration veterans from earlier um, use them at your own whim 
uh, you might use them to take objectives to just camp out or something like that. So you'll see. Um, I chose a Bane Wolf as well. I give it the multi melta so that way that is a super fast it's a small stubby little tank that can hide behind cover really well and it allows you to get up there and flush infantry out of hidden spots and things like that the multi melta i got for lighter armored vehicles and things like that if you need to knock a couple of hull points off of a heavier vehicle you know just swing by shoot it get back into cover whatever it takes so um Definitely, I think that those are useful little vehicles and they're underused, personally. Uh, so, I went ahead and chose that, and that's a thousand points. Um, it comes out to 985 points, that's about as close as I could get you without getting anything extra. Um, and that'll only run you $285 at Games Workshop prices. So, that'd be. Oh, like. 250 260 something like that with the 15 percent off discount and then uh so let's move on to 1500 points to get to 1500 points i'm going to go ahead and set you up with a wyvern battery that is three wyverns um why because they're awesome and they have shred and they can absolutely obliterate pretty much any infantry unit especially hordes you know watch out those definitely will not survive against this these are one of my favorites I usually I like basilisks but um, if I remember correctly they have a lot of scatter so um, wyverns they have the shred so you get to reroll um, they have four shots each so it's 12 shots you know getting pretty crazy in there so I think those would do well I'm not sure how they do against vehicles but light vehicles I'm pretty positive they could take out um, then I'm going to give you guys another Bane Wolf, um, but this time I'm going to give it the Heavy Flamer so that way you're doing two template weapons at the same time, the Acid Cannon or the Chemical Cannon, I'm sorry, and the Heavy Flamer, so that's definitely used for fleshing out infantry for sure. Um, then I'm going to give you an three, There's a, it's a Rattling Squad, but I want you to put ten Rattlings in it and then hide them in a building and shoot main characters and... Um, I know they have rending, so they are definitely awesome. Take out, you know, space marines, take out whatever. I think that they're awesome. You can camp them out in a building, hide them away on one far end corner of the board. I think sniper rivals have something like a 36 inch range, so they can definitely easily shoot a good chunk of the board. So I think that they're definitely a useful thing. Uh, I didn't do like a sniper squad instead i just thought that the rattlings were fun no one ever really uses them so you might as well throw them in there just to be unique uh and then i'm going to give you a chimera uh the chimera is definitely for getting those veterans across the field especially those um uh, camo netted veterans so get them across the field get them to an objective whatever you got to do um i didn't put anything special on it so that's your 1500 points wyverns Bane Wolf, Rattlings, and a Chimera, all for Games Workshop priced at $294.75, and that'll get you 1,490 points total in addition to everything that you had in your 1,000-point list. Um, now finally get to get to 2,000 points, and the way I set all this up, I kind of regretted it going back. I kind of wish I would have made more uh, just general shooting from the troops and stuff, trying to make them like all the demolitions and stuff. But I'm just going to go with it and see what you guys think, see what comments I get. If you guys think I could do something different or better in some other way, definitely let me know. Uh, for the 2,000 points, I'm going to give you guys an Aegis defense line, which is going to give you anti-air support if you give it the quad gun. And obviously, it's going to give you a 3 plus cover. So who doesn't want that? Stick your veterans behind it. Have them shooting out from behind that, doing whatever. I think that's an awesome, awesome awesome uh, fortification that you can bring and it's relatively cheap it's only 100 points um, then I'm gonna give you two Valkyries uh, they have the laser cannons uh, the multi pod rockets and the twin linked heavy bolters so uh, that'll set you up pretty good those will definitely allow you just to pretty much annihilate any infantry um, they could pro probably get some good hits on some tanks and things like that. It allows you to transport troops across the field if need be. So that's another faster transportation. 
And then finally, to set up behind the uh, Aegis defense line, I'll give you a heavy weapon squad with a laser cannon. Um, and I gave them crack grenades. Why? I don't know. Why not? It's just to get you closer to 2,000 points. Uh, in total, you'll be at 1,968 points. So not exactly 2,000 points. Uh, if you guys, if I missed anything, let me know. Um, definitely, I want to get closer but with only about 30 points to spare, I don't really know what else I could have given you guys. So, the total price and Games Workshop prices is $788.25. Uh, with a 15% off discount, it's $670.01. Uh, so, that's my Astro Militarium list. I had a lot of fun writing with these guys because late I got mine in. And so far, I have my tank commander with no tank companions and I have like four infantry platoons so I'm working on mine as we speak um, this is not personally what I would run I'm going off of what I can buy off of eBay I have for the most part my li personal list is based off of the list in my playlist Astra Militarum list it was one of the very first videos that I posted so if you guys want to go look at that and see what I'll have in my army um, it'll probably change with time as I learn more about the game and how each army works so most definitely excited about these guys so anyways as always you can send me an email at sitpaintplay at gmail.com uh, I will answer any questions that you have or any comments that you have um, if you have any information for me, let me know. I am definitely more than willing to learn, and I am always excited to become a better player, so let me know. Um, I also am happy to help with list building and other things like that. If you guys have a budget, I will try and do as much research and be as timely as possible. So anyways, hope you guys liked this video, and I hope that you can uh, get back with me soon, and I will keep producing these as soon as I can. Have a good night.